Yo, so as you guys can see, man, my client is struggling right now, man. He hasn't had a haircut in about two months. But as barbers, we're going to get clients to come in after two, three months. But it's our job to shake them back and give them the confidence that they deserve and that they need. So we're going to break right off into it. So we start off kind of combing the hair in a backwards formation. And the reason I'm combing the hair in a backwards formation is like the way I was. Just off the simple fact, my client hair actually grows that way. So just pay attention to the way your client hair grows because if you don't, you cut it in the opposite direction. You can turn a great haircut into a horrible haircut so the trimmers that i'm using right here are my supreme trimmers if you are looking for these trimmers i will link them in the description you guys can go purchase them they're 40 dollars i'm actually an influencer with this this clipper brand right here and um if you have any you know changes or anything that you guys would like to see drop it in the comment section i'll be sure to you know talk to my team about that so after we follow up with the supreme trimmers we come back with our and the style liner tools and the reason I came back with my style liner too is just off the simple fact I feel like they cut a little closer to the skin than my Supreme trimmers do. So right here we're going in and we're going to go ahead and fade my client's beard. We start with the level all the way open. Now we close the level all the way up. And um, I'm kind of going to talk to you guys like you're using a notch system. If you pay attention, I just bump the lever down just a tad bit and if you're using a babeless clipper you will be on notch three right now now you're back all the way open and being that my client beard isn't the longest i can fade his beard in without using any guards you know and that's saving you time on the haircut so the longer you guys are in the industry and the longer you guys are you know um just putting up shots in the gym you know what i'm saying y'all figure out tips and tricks to make you guys be able to cut faster fade faster and just give be able to give a faster service you see what i'm saying so after we make sure everything is faded in we're gonna go off and break right into the table so we keep that level all the way open and we go up about an inch keeping everything consistent as you guys can see my client hair is kind of not reacting the way that i wanted to because his hair grows to the back so after you cut the hair you want to make sure you're combing it back in a diagonal formation as you guys can see i take the clip and i turn it to that you know that like going towards the front of his hairline because that's the way his hair growing so it's going to give me a smoother lay down and a better transition so after we uh get everything you know the, to the desired length you want to follow that back up with our whatever trimmer you use to set in that ball line in my case i'm gonna go back with my style on the tools and with this step right here man you want to kind of be a little cautious and be careful you want to make sure that you're um you know nudging it up just a teeny tad bit you don't want it to go all the way up into the table because then you're going to really take that table way too high man so just as soon as you see that line start to break a little bit or start to nudge up a little bit put the trimmer down you know what i'm saying and uh pick your clipper back up as you guys will see and very shortly i'm going to pick my clipper back up and um we're going to start with the level all the way close we're going to start to flick out that line so we're going to break right into it getting it in you see what i'm saying and uh once you see that line start to nudge up a little bit more pay attention to the lever i'm gonna go on like notch two there go right there so after that you can go to notch three and um one thing that i have found out man when it comes to taper or just taking out that first ball guideline whether you're using a wall senior whether you're using a babeless clipper by the time you hit notch three that guideline is going to pretty much be faded all the way out and you might have to close the level all the way up and just take out some dark spots or you might have to open the level a little bit more but essentially you know um by the time you get on notch three, you're going to um, fade that line pretty much all the way out. And you see, just there, I, I kind of um, close the level all the way back up. So now we go back with our number three guard, and we're just debulking. And now uh, the lever is all the way open. And the reason I started with my number three, and as you guys see, his hair got stuck in the guards right there. So pay attention to that. Be very cautious, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, the reason I like to go with the number three, man, is just to give me, like, more, um, like, I feel like, when I go with the number two, it's um, kind of don't give me the connection that I want. It looks like a, a disconnected fade, and I kind of like all my fades to be connected. You know what I'm saying? So um, I don't know if you guys are paying attention or not, but the level is actually all the way closed now. We're just fading. We're literally down fading, and we're getting right into it. And, um, you know, just keep everything consistent. But I said this in all my other videos. The higher you are in your face, you see I'm going up a little higher now. I had to open my level back up. And then once I'm about to break down a little lower, I will close my level all the way up. So now we break off with our number two guard with the level all the way open. And we're going to hit right under where we had that number three guard all the way closed. And as you guys can see, the transition is starting to come together. It's not all the way there, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? We're we getting a little transition coming in. But uh, like I was saying, man, um, you can use the number two guard and stick it a, a connected fade. But for myself, I just feel more comfortable breaking out with that number three guard and scooping out and 
creating some type of shape as well as I'm, you know, starting to fade. And um, it, it just works for me. You guys can try this. If it doesn't work, you know what I'm saying? You really can't lose, you know what I mean? <laughs> so now we got the level all the way closed and we're going right under where we had that number two guard, which we still have on open. So just remember, the higher you are on your fade, keep your level open. The lower you are on your fade, keep your level closed. And everything will work in your favor, man. Keep everything consistent. And uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this taper right here has me putting in a whole lot of work. Being that my client doesn't have a bad hair grade whatsoever. I don't believe in having a bad hair grade or anything like that. It's just a simple fact, my client hair grows to the back. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of a little uncomfortable to cut and it's a little harder to fade, but just keep consistent, stay with your steps, man. Everything will work in your favor. So now we come back with the number one guard all the way open. And with this guard right here, you wanna come right under where you had that number two guard and um, close, make sure you're right under that. You see what I'm saying? And um, after you set in that guideline, and I uh, remember we're down fading, so you're really not gonna see a lot of guidelines. You kinda gotta remember what you're doing with your eyes and muscle memory to a certain extent. Um, and once you see everything is laying down and it's starting to flow how you would like it to flow, you close that level up like we just did right there. And then we're starting to hit right under where we had the level open. And as you guys can see, the taper is starting to come in there. It's not flawless. It's definitely going to have to need some um, detail work to, you know, bring it to life and bring it together. But for the most part, that table is in there, man. And, um, you know, I just want to say is this too, man. We officially hit 1,000 subscribers. By the time I'm shooting this video, I know we're probably going to have more than where we're currently at. And I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with me this long. Yeah, it really means a lot because last year I started off, I only had like 31 subscribers. And now we got 1k you know what i'm saying so i appreciate everybody that's supporting the channel the brand and the team and if you're not already subscribed subscribe right now join the family and join the brand join the team man we're going way to the top so back to the tutorial now we got the one and a half guard all the way open and you can see that one and a half is blending clean and smooth right into that number two guard and like i said with all the other guards once you gonna get everything laid down to where you want it close that lever up and hit right up under you see how that transition starting to pop like i said man um you're gonna get clients that hair kind of grows all over the place i have plenty of clients that i haven't ever put on youtube that their hair just grows in a swirl you can see some of them on instagram as well but just stay consistent man everything will work in your favor and remember your steps so right after you come back with that one and a half guard, you wanna come with the number one guard once again, all the way open, use the corners. When it comes to fade and taper areas, just any area that is tight, use your corners, utilize your corners. If not, you will take that fade too high, way too high, you see what I'm saying? So use probably, I'd say maybe two, maybe three, T for the blade and everything is gonna start to pop, man. Y'all see the fade is starting to come to life. So now after we come with the number one, this is probably the most guard that I had a love-hate relationship with. Start with the lever all the way close. Then you want to nudge it, that lever just a teeny bit down. See right there? So, like, really, if you're a beginner barber, man, I would definitely say get you a pair of clippers that have a notch system because it, this helps you know where you're at in your fade. It keeps you in a balance. It keeps you, you know, just locked in, man. It, it literally helps a lot. I'm not going to lie. So, being that I've been cutting for a little minute now, this is just kind of like muscle memory. It's not nothing that like I really have to kind of think about. Of course, I have to think about it, but you know what I'm saying. And um, right here, we like on notch three, maybe four, depending on what clipper you're using. And if, depending on your if your clipper is zero gap as well. And as you guys can see, man, we're not using the full blade whatsoever. When it comes to this, this half guard, the zero guard, whatever you call it, I have never used the entire blade, never. And um, we all the way open right here and just utilizing the corners, man. And, as you guys can see, man, you can kind of see what I'm saying with the, the connection with the fade, being that I went with that number three. So we're going to break off right into the to the line. And so right there, what I did, just clean up the extra hair that's hanging over his line. That way he can have a nice predominant line, and the line is going to last longer. You see what I'm saying? So keep everything natural. Keep everything consistent. You don't want to take that neckline in and make it look sharp. Some people have a nice defined neckline. Some people don't. But you don't want to chase that line, man, because... Once that line starts to grow back in, man, it's not going to look good at all. You see what I'm saying? And, um, you know, and, and, and that's the glory of enhancements as well. So if you have a client with a weaker lineup, don't take it back. Have a nice one-on-one -on -one conversation with them and, um, you know, recommend enhancements. And uh, before you learn enhancements, before you use enhancements, excuse me, you kind of want to get the fundamentals down of a nice natural edge up. You see what I'm saying? And just take your time, man. 
even with your trimmer use your corners of your blade especially when going around the ear you see what i just did right there just cleaning up everything now you guys can see a better angle of that taper right there the taper is coming together so this is a good example right here as well so being that my client vertical bar is a little lighter just off the simple fact it's a high taper so i didn't leave it as dark because i know my client right here is going to get enhancements and you don't want to take that line back to make it look sharp but the enhancements are going to make everything pop and come to life anyway so um y'all let me know in the comment section man i think this angle right here with this taper right here man it, it looks good man it's definitely fire and uh <laughs> the table had me working for sure i can't lie to you guys man and uh so now we're gonna break off into the lining so what i'm doing right here is pulling his hair back his hair hanging over the line a whole lot but you don't want to cut off too much of the hair because then it's going to take away from the look so just any hairs you see hanging off you see how i turn my trimmer upside down that just essentially was to get the hair that's hanging off so you have a long lasting lineup even when the enhancements wear off um you know keep cut combing the hair or brushing the hair whatever you prefer to do when it comes to the lining that way you know you have a longevity line and the client goes home and combs that front line or combs the whatever the fade and you know everything is just going to be locked into place and it's not going to go anywhere so it's not like he getting a, a two for one you see what i'm saying um then just keep everything consistent man follow that line that you already created on the opposite side so for myself I said this in plenty of other my videos i like to start with my vertical bars that way it kind of just paints the picture for me that way the straight line on his forehead is already there and um i know a lot of barbers get mistaken with this straight line a person's forehead is not straight therefore you cannot technically give them a straight lineup you see what i'm saying so it's really all an illusion you have to make everything just appear to be straight and to appear to be equivalent to each other and um you know everything will work in your favor man the lining is is definitely something that'll make or break you if you let it but if you keep that positive mentality man and and just take your time man and, uh don't apply a lot of pressure let all your trimmers or whatever trimmer you're using do all the work man and everything will work in your favor man and as you guys can see i just after every few strokes even if i'm not on that same side like the comb just off the simple fact i want to make sure that my clients are long lasting lineup so like i said in reality you're gonna have clients that come in with a a cut like this but at the end of the day man as barbers we gotta make sure that we be able to get in the confidence like this so if you're new like comment share subscribe tell a friend tell a friend man and until next time y'all be blessed